All right, today we're going over the easiest way to catch big fish. And we kind of got a unique situation going on. This is something that Brandon and I behind the camera do pretty often, but we're doing like a full on production shoot today. We got some new gear to shoot. We'll show you because we'll get, get a little glimpse behind the scenes. But sometimes when Brandon and I are out on the ice, let's say we need to shoot a new auger, a new shack. We do some, you know, promo production stuff, shooting commercials for different brands. But when we do that, we always soak lines. And I think so many people don't take advantage of their lines when they're on the ice. Sometimes there's people, you know, playing hockey, playing catch, doing whatever on the ice. It's like, you may as well have tip ups out. Obviously we're shooting fishing stuff. So it makes a lot of sense to have fishing lines out, but you can do two tip ups per person in Ontario. Um, Brian and I are going to put three tip ups out and they're going to shoot this new shack that we'll show you shortly, but we're gonna get the tip ups out first. A tip up basically we will go real beginner right now. There's a bunch of different versions with rods and different contraptions. This is, you know, probably one of the most basic ways, uh, one of the most basic versions. This is just your circular pro thermal type tip up. You put your bait underneath on a couple hooks, a big spool of line here. When the fish pulls the bait, boom, the flag pops up, notifies you, and then you fight the fish with your hand. So anyways, we got some various baits here, uh, some Cisco's, and uh, we're gonna go set them on. A, this is a walleye hump basically, but I have caught big pike here before. So we're gonna just focus on that. This rigging is called a quick strike rig. We got a big, beautiful Cisco. And that right there is pike candy. That's the perfect size. If I could find a lifetime supply of Cisco's that size, I would um, probably sell, I don't know, one of my cats. Good bait. Maybe not one of my cats. Probably give you a bunch of catch and cook though. Looking for a Cisco connection. Anyways, let's drill a hole. We got the 10 inch ion alpha and the flasher. In a situation like this, you know, you don't need crazy electronics. We're gonna try to bring this all in one shot. So something I did when we rolled up to this spot, I got the helix on the dash. We we're rolling in the truck on the ice today. So no sleds, amazing travel on Lake of the Woods. And as you can see, I drove this hump out. So what I did is it's very specific spots. There's one foot Lake Master mapping on this part of Lake of the Woods. So I drove exactly where I wanted to put my tip ups. So I can look at my trail right now and I can see, you know, where I backed up, where I turned around and all those spots I marked specifically. So now I know where to put the tip up. Obviously I could walk around at the graph, but now I have a very visual marker and I'm out of breath and we haven't even started running for tip ups yet. We're in reverse, we're gonna calm down. We're gonna be fishing a little deeper, probably like 24 feet, 23 feet here on the top of the hump. This isn't what people think of often when they think of pike spots, but if you've walleye fished enough, you've probably caught a big pike while walleye fishing. They do hang out on these spots. 19 feet, I love it. We're right on the top of the reef. Ooh, that looks good. Now we just let her spin. We'll probably keep it a foot or two off bottom. Don't have to worry about it freezing in. And then I always like to make a little snow pile nearby. Then when I'm just looking quickly, I can tell where my flag should be. You can put a scoop up there. All right, one set, we'll set three, then we'll get to work. All right, flags are set. I guess we'll show you the piece of gear we're shooting today. By the time you see this video, it will be released. So this is the Escape 2000. This is the biggest one-man shack that Esquinal makes. It's a big one-man shack or you could fit a second person in it. So their marketing is one-man but like a one-plus. So perfect for, you know, if you're two smaller guys or if you're taking your kid out. I think it could be pretty good. It's got the bench seat. Anyways, we're going to shoot a bunch of cool b-roll of it. Some photos, some video which you'll probably see in the marketing uh, stuff next year. All the while watching our tip up. So we're fishing while we work. I mean, we're typically fishing while we work, but you know what I mean. Anyways, we've got three lines and we might do some walleye jigging too. But anyways, we'll give you a walk through once we've shot a little bit of content. All right, guys, this is it. This is the Escape 2000. As I mentioned, the biggest one man, or you could have two people. Like there's definitely room for two people. Right now I'm kind of like lounging. I could be sitting in the middle. We got a nice big fish rolling and we're gonna just keep uh, rattling the tantrum. Ooh, this is bigger than I thought. Oh boy, we might have some action. Oh no, 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 no. 
He's gonna come back. He was very aggressive. I'm gonna tighten down my drag after that one. Had the TV drag on right there. As I was saying, this shack, I got the heater, I got the live scope, and I still got, like, I could film out of this thing. For one man shack, it's pretty impressive. He's coming back. He's not as big as I thought, but he's a rattlebait eater. Sliding. There we go. There's a second fish down there too. We got tip up set and this is our uh, little photo shoot going on here. So we've been watching tip ups and that is what we're dealing with right there. Lake of the Woods walleyes, perfect eaters. And I'm gonna hook this as fast as possible because I see another one down there. What was I saying? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's got the, you know, smaller tub. So you can't fit obviously endless gear in here, but I could fit a heater, a live scope. Yeah, I think people are taking more and more gear and live scope is very popular now. It's you know, crazy technology, but it does take up a lot of space with a decent size screen. So, you know, some of the, oh, this fish is racing up. Wish I had the live scope camera on. We're gonna catch another one right here. Oh, I lost him. Um, Cause I do a lot of the, you know, production work. Um, I, I've been able to fish out of a lot of their different shack models. So I get to see and, and yeah, I mean, every shack fills its, fills its different place. The 2800 is the one I film out of the most. That's the biggest two man they make. It's big, but it is tough by myself to haul that thing around, to load it, unload it for my truck, this thing. As you saw, I could just throw it on the truck, I could lift it by myself. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take much to heat, that's another consideration. And for whatever reason, one-man shacks have not gained as much popularity in Canada as they have in the States. I would say when I go to the States, I see way more one-man flipovers than in Canada. Maybe that trend will change, but yeah, I don't know. I like it, I like the bench sheets. As, as you can see, you can lift it up, and that's where I fit live scope and the heater, scoop i put the rod case on top and yeah the bench is nice because it just maximizes the width of this toboggan we're good all right, we got some shots. We're now gonna head into the shack. Uh, our tip-ups haven't been flying, but the walleyes have been flying in. We're gonna fish both of us out of here. Like I said, it'll be, it'll be tight. We're gonna fit camera gear, live scope, heater, and two large, large men being mean Brandon, so. Should grab another rod though. We're going in. It's gonna be cozy. All right, head cam's rolling. You can grab that camera if we hook a fish or have a fish coming in. There's a fish, there's a yeah, fish. Just do a super nice one back. I gotta go, Tony, one second. So it's just a big jumbled mess. I don't know who's on who. He's on! Nice. There might be another fish down there. Prime time. We're on Lake of the Woods. We're in the 2000. Brandon and I are both fishing side by side. Live scope heater. This thing's got lots of room. Oh, there might be more fish. Oh, Ooh, yeah, look at the size of that perch. It's a big perch. Wow. Let's see, Brando. That is a fat, fat jumbo. <laughs> jumbo perch, buddy. Wow, that is big. That is a thick perch. Look at the belly, show me the belly. That's got some eggs in it. Sheesh. Nice, good fish. All right, buddy. Slide her back. That's a handful of perch. <laughs> nice. Woohoo! <laughs> nice. That is one of my favorite Lake of the Woods baits right there. 3 16th glow right there. Dinner bell. No bait needed. We still got our two tip ups, which are gonna go yet. All right, uh, first impressions of the shack. It definitely fits two people. Um, I normally take up quite a bit of space, so this is a little closer than I want to be to Brandon, but... What? <laughs> we're here, we're doing it. That was a big perch. That was a big perch. I find too that it's like so easy to... Ooh, it's good to see fish. These just... Ah, oh, it's so cool watching He's fish swim. Come right in and just hammer. We'll see what he wants. We got the tantrum, we got the dinner bell. No, he's just gonna come in and kill. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, oh. Brandon. Oh man, he's decent. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he's coming for that, that rattle bait. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that was good. It's smaller than I thought. It looked pretty good on live scope. That's all right. Man. Whew. There we go. Nice. Nicest walleye of the night. A little tantrum eater. Breaking in the 2000 escape. There you go. That fish still looked a lot bigger than what it was. Yeah, it looked <laughs> way bigger on live scope, but hey, it's a good day. Good day to be alive, bad day to be a walleye. Out the walleye window. And yeah, we got the true grit. You guessed it, tantrum. You can use rattle baits on lakes other than Lake Winnipeg, believe it or not. Oh, fish on the left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Butter, butter, um, butter, 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 butter. It might be bigger. It's kind of tough to say because it's flickering. I mean, I'm just. Maybe he'll get that other fish going. Yeah. Maybe we'll catch two. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the Olympics. I've got no game with this jigging spoon. You caught a big perch. Yeah, I did. We're just fishing an extension. You can see the island out there. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. That island out there, there's just a finger that sticks off and we're at the tip. Oh, there's a fish coming in. Ooh, doggy. Bring it home, Brando. Bring it home. Brando was just saying how he doesn't have the- <laughs> I have no game. No game with the dinner bell. Oh no, there you go. Get your hand on the reel. So you can just like slowly reel it. Yeah, get him going a little faster. A little faster, yeah. Yep, there you go. He's gonna eat it right there. Right there. How is he not eating it? Yeah, there we go. It's not that big. It's huge, Brandon. Thanks for the coaching. I don't know how much I did. Oh, giant perch. Honestly? Uh-oh. Is he hooked on the ice? Let's see, what you got, Brando? Oh man, big perch. another fistful of perch for Brandon. Perch King Brandon. That's all I can catch is perch. What's for dinner tonight? Perch fry. Perch. Perch. Perch powder. Big perch powder. This guy is not going back. He's going to Brandon's belly. Another big jumbo, eh? We got a flag, I'm not joking. You we got, got a flag, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, this is what we've been waiting for. Is this gonna happen? We got the flag. Oh my goodness, dude. Let's reel up. All right, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like to the woods, baby. <laughs> Better not be a greasy burb. I don't think there's anything on there. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, there's a fish on there. Sunset behind us. We waited for this all day. Could be burbot. Okay, I think I'm just gonna hit him. Okay. It's feeling like a burbot. It's not oh. feeling like a pike. It's feeling like a dirty burbot. We're probably right during the spawn right now, so. Oh, nice walleye. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's a good surprise. Hey. Apparently we should have been fishing shallower for walleyes. Look at that. All right, on the tip up, Lake of the Woods, baby. You never know what you're gonna get. Wow, look at that. He had no problem with that big treble. Not a giant, but a good one. All right. There you go, fish move shallow. In the evening, boom. I was calling bourbon. Hey, sweet, sweet way to end the day. Big bait gets us the biggest walleye. Anyways, guys, there's like a little, kind of like behind the scenes, not really. It was uh, more so just, it just showed like that. That's just how we maximize our time, right? Put no tip ups. It's an easy thing to bring along, bring a pail of tip ups, a couple quick strike rigs, and who knows what you'll catch. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I am a fan of the 2000. I, I could see myself using it filming by myself a lot. It's easy to load and unload. Yeah, it's a good evening on Lake of the Woods. Life is good.